What a beautiful day for a scum adventure. Birds are chirping. Motorcycle freshly fueled. Good old Marmite is back. Had a few caveman adventures. A foray into Dead Side. Ooh. Where are we going to go? I think we're going to go and explore that town. What's it called? That's the big foggy town, isn't it? It's never worked out too well for me going into town. We could do with some food, first of all. In fact, this seems like a convenient place to park a motorcycle, because I can always find my way back here. Oh, I haven't got a lock for it, though, so let's... Heidi Heidi it. Consider yourself kind of hidden. If I hide it, if I hide it too good, I won't find it. Okay. Big bush. Then to the car park. Why is it so suspiciously quiet? What is this place? Outside the white zone, so PvP is their game. Getting slightly warm, are you? I don't know if there's anyone in town. Why are there no zombies? This is just a little disconcerting. Yeah, mate. I know you've got a lot of stuff on, but look, I need all this stuff. I've been collecting it. Uh, see what I should have done. Was... Is there any storage in a motorcycle? I don't think so. That would be something, devs. Supermarché. Any chance you could introduce um, motorcycle panniers that we could find or improvise and attach to the bikes? That would be rather excellent. Can I walk down one of those? Should be able to, right? Ooh. Very cool. Wait, are there no zombies? Okay. Turning the volume up on my headset. It's actually really loud in my headset. I'm using one of these, um, just a little cheapy headset that I got off Amazon. Bluetooth with an integrated mic. Mic's not very good quality. So, when I was playing with OBS, the... Ooh, someone's had a bit of a pizza vom down the side of the building. When I was playing with the OBS, get the video quality that I wanted. Had to tinker with the mic settings. So turn the mic gain up. No zombies anywhere. Turn the mic gain up, which makes your talking voice. We'll have a quick little drink of some beer. I'm not sure if I want a hatchet for anything. I don't want to be carrying around a darn toolbox. Definitely. Oh, did I lock the bike? I think I haven't found a gold. I think I somehow took the lock off the bike when I was running around with it. Oh, there's lots of beer in here. No, I'm not going to drink any more beer. It's a little bit strange that you have one gulp of beer in this game and you immediately get a bit drunk drunkenness <laughs> oh if that were true I'll have some carrot juice just to wash it away carrot and orange juice now there's a drink carrot juice on its own not so much oh no 
Stop it. You're going to... Oh, look. Idiot. Well, I need to find some food. Up there. Lovely red onion. Jeez, there's a ton of food in here. Let's just take them all. drone for broadcasting my location to anyone else who might be in the area. I don't think this has been looted down here because there's a lot of stuff. Complete absence of uh, zombies is weird. Okay, what's my mission? Well, my mission is, I know there's a hunting shop. It's like a kitchen knife. I don't need. I know there's a hunting shop in town somewhere. And I want to find it, because I want to get a compound bow. I was doing my uh, caveman adventures early on in the week. Ingredients for making stuff. I wonder if I can make a cooking channel. The answer is I don't think so. Yeah, doing the caveman adventures when I was playing at my like a cake with spicy sugar. Well, I originally came into town. Are these individual? They're not, are they? No, they're not. I originally came into town looking for a bow after the caveman adventure, which I just really enjoyed running around with a bow and arrow. I'm used to playing with guns and collecting bullets, but getting a bow and arrow. Cup of tea? Oh, a ton. Well, no, I don't want it. Alright, so I think each one of these is one searching block, or it seems to be anyway. Why not? Well, note to self, if you ever get hungry, come to the Supermarché. On Earth, are there no... Is that... Peculiar. Never looked up here before. Can't be any really players through here. There's too much random stuff sitting around, and no open doors. What is this? Lock. This has got to be a programmer's room. A little bit like my desk, in that it's got a keyboard on it. That's about the only <laughs> only resemblance it has. Maybe we change from looking for the hunting equipment to finding a pot. Doing some cooking. <gasps> Ooh, Jesus Christ. I was getting very complacent. <laughs> oh, finally, there is one. Take it.
is Kipnicopgina Kamanova. Or you can treat things with it. Okay, that'll do. Excited to get a new laptop today. Been enjoying. Ooh. Now back on the roof again. This whole supermarket just one zombie. Something very strange going on around here. There is no inventory. There's no point crafting anything. I just got to lug it all around with me. Yeah, let's not park it here. Let's take it with me and go exploring. All right, gun shop. Let's try and find you. Be very specific about what I'm looking for. Ooh, why don't I look at the map? There's an idea. I'm looking over here. Ammo ball. Yes, I'm down. Yeah, is the grocery store, right? Landing. I've walked around it and so yeah. Uh, let's just have the sammable places of interest. Um okay. Market. Hunt oh hunting shop. It's right here. Oh, so it's on the left hand side of where the hunt and it's got some oh cool. I mean it's over there, down that road. Can have a look. Oh no, it's right there. That is it, isn't it? Oh wow, that was mighty easy. What's on the site one going on? Of e robot. Shit. What are they doing? Zombies, but just one BP man. You doing server? And it attracted nobody. Hang on. Oh, it's tons of good. Oh, of course, he's damaged everything now. Shad spot. Should have um the hunting shop's like a clothes shop. Ugh, idiot. In the hunting shop is it? It is. We got a toolbox. No weapons. Tons of pair of shoes. I didn't have my that could come in give it to eat someone well that was an anti-climax me giving the old got to find a hunting shop because uh Get some bows and arrows, and it turns out all you've got in there is some shoes and a helmet. Hunting shop in existence. 
Did we go upstairs? Okay, let's try and stick to a system. How about we just follow this road all the way down? Thirteen. Turn my flashlight on by accident. The heck is going on? Why are there just no zombies? Cursed it by saying, Why are there none? Oh, you must be in one of the shops. I think there's a road turning off to the left, and the gun shop must be down there. All right. I hope that sound comes out on the video because it's so close. Maybe that's just the downside to using the um, headset I'm using. They always sound close even when they're not. Okay, we're going to go in silent mode. shop must be on the left here. Is that it? Gotta follow it down that way to go to that ammunition shop. Must be one of these. Is that a gun shop sign? Again? What the hell is going on? The beepers are in the gun shops. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh, well, it blew his head off. Oh, there's already a ton more stuff in here. Ah, oh, it's all damaged by him. Look, I didn't shoot you, mate. Uh, let's just pick up all the ammo we can take. That would have been handy to carry things. I think this is one of the best weapons in the game. The SDAS Super Shotgun. Unfortunately, that's blown up by this BP man. Why don't you at least come up and come out and see me rather than just lay on the floor and explode? Um. Never too sure whether I should take it when it's blown to pieces like that. If I didn't already have one, I'd definitely take that. Okay, let's drop some. Stuff. 
this ain't the right time for ice and sugar. Need some cheese slices for sure. Right, that's me pretty fed up. Blueberries, tuna salad, cheese. I'm all in the green, baby. Macronutrients. I need more carbs. Come on, I'm eating cheese, blueberries, tuna salad. This stuff should work, shouldn't it? Good. Good, man. Let's get rid of the cooking. Go a bit more on the... Uh, want some shotgun shells. Is anyone in the area? And your friend... Oh. Both in excellent condition as well. Ooh. Give me some shotty shells. Shotgun shells or flare gun shells, please. Already running out of storage room. Have a richness of everything. The traders. In order. Good. Okay, back there in the end. I want to go to that armory right at the end and see what we can find there. So, so far I've seen, oops, one normal puppet and two beepers. Very odd. There's some an upstairs I missed. I don't think I've ever been through this city and it'd be so quiet. Always up for a pub. Oh, oh, hello. Almond's a bit miffy. Oh, it's, oh of course, it's a lot of blimp pub. Oh, go down like that. Is that you going to play? Oh, this sort of a boozer would be my jam entirely. It's a little bit like a German. Oh, hello. Oh, these honors are brutal, man.
There's a wealth of things to eat and drink here. I hear shotty shells. Okay, let's let's do one of those. Trouble is, <laughs> down here. Whiskey. Um, where am I going to put that? Take whiskey. Come on. Who wouldn't take a bottle of whiskey? I'm a bit of a whiskey fan. As I've got older in life, I've come to like it. Didn't like it at all when I was younger. But now I'm an old fart. <laughs> Find them full of wine and fill your beverages up. Oh, someone really got their drink on. Left a frying pan. I think it's someone through the wall on the other side. Turn it. If I can add batteries to it to make it play music, that'd be kind of funny. this way. <laughs> it's another gun shop? Must be. Oh my god, the pain. Oh my god, what pain. Look, come out the shops. Oh, there you are. Oh, mate. There's another one in here, isn't there? going on <laughs> oh, that's another destroyed backpack I guess maybe the, well I didn't even go near that guy he was just in there beeping and blew himself up well it's Friday self-flagellation Friday maybe that's yeah Battle for this episode. <laughs> I love a bit of a hunter knife. 
Again, another destroyed backpack. Blow you up, man. I don't want you 357. I, this is my general uh, rap style of play, is run around. I think that takes the 357, doesn't it? Is that right? Oh no, I don't want to drop that. Hey, look, now I've, got, now I've got a quandary already. Oh, I can pair it. Dead to me. Oh, I've got some meals, MREs. Even though I had those, those me hunting for food. Okay, I don't need this. Oh, it makes me cry dropping that. You know why I can't rotate that? That's weird. Something else slim that I'd rotated around somewhere. Ladies and folks, ladies and folks, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, this is the Jenga part of the episode. Weird. My mouse goes weird. Like it won't let me rotate now all of a sudden. I don't think it's going to come. Definitely want to take... High-value items only. handgun holsters coming out my yin yang. Well they nine. Well I might as well. I wish those I already have blended together. Okay, so on the main drag there are two military, uh, not military, hunting shops. <laughs> when I first started playing this game, I came into town, I was being chased by what felt like a horde of zombies, probably three of them. I fell off into that canal. And they just chased me all the way down it. I was trying to climb out while I was getting slammed. Here's the Chinese shop or restaurant. Not quite sure what it was. Fascinating culture, the Chinese culture. I'd love to wear you Beijing hat. Gives me an idea. Oh, that was weird, wasn't it? It's like a little weird thing in the screen. Done my caveman adventures. Maybe I should have a Chinese man adventures episode. Chinaman. It feels like all these days of woke and politically correct 
Someone's going to be like, yeah, you can't say Chinamen, that's going to insult them. I had this exact conversation with my missus last night. I was talking about an old friend of mine, Kwok. Kwok Quan Kwong, who was Japanese. And um, we were on a ski trip. And I was talking to someone that we'd met, him and I, and a bunch of other guys who'd all gone away. Just a bunch of friends from work. Um, and I was like, yeah, well, you know, Fox a Jap, and the guy was horrified. You can't call him a Jap, an American guy. And I thought, well, why, why not? He goes, oh, that's just so insulting. And I said, but you would call me a Brit? And he's like, well, yeah. So, shortening British for Brit. Let's try it. Shortening Brit for British is okay. It's left. But apparently, shortening Japanese to Jap is insulting. I wonder what that's all about. People just seem to be so easily set by any I call all my American friends Yanks I'm sure there's someone that will work hard to be uh, offended by that am I all the way down on the right wasn't it What other nationality abbreviations are there? Is that a military base? I think it's further down. It showed it like it's almost out of town. Oh, it must be this. that look military? No, it looks like a bus stop. Or a grocery store. Krigler. What's a Krigler? Look, it must be one of these buildings around here. what a Krigler is. A little bar. Yeah, might be an Aussie if you're Australian. That insulting. Might be a Scot if you're Scottish. Is that insulting? Being a Jap if you're Japanese. That's insulting. Ooh, being a Paki if you're Pakistani. That's definitely viewed as an insult by a lot of people. Do you call it someone's Indian? An Indo? That's just an Indian, isn't it? Indy? <laughs> this looks like something because it has lots of bars on it. Oh. Is there a ladder up there? Hello? I'm going to take you out quietly. That ain't going to work. I'm just going to blunt my beautiful sword. want some? You want some, mister? Oh, in fact, I'll take... I think I've got lockpicks, but I'll take that just in case. Love to fashion some 
hobby pins and lock picks. I haven't found anything. Ooh, you're laying in a very uncomfortable position, miss. Or you're a mister. It's a miss. You're a mister. I can hear the faint rumblings. Up there and have a look, shall we? Yeah, one of my friends I haven't seen for a long time now, years, well, mainly because I moved to America. And uh, he stayed in the UK, but eventually moved off to, to Thailand. I don't know what he's doing over there, though. He's Welsh, and I used to call him Taff. All right, Taff. Well, this is a bit rubbish up here. What is it? We have a secret stash of fishing bits, cannabis. I'm going to take those because I think it was Ebb who was online yesterday who was saying that. He's growing weed, and that apparently if you smoke a joint... Ah, okay. Good. Now we can put some stuff in here, right? One of these fit in here? No. Some other... stuff will. Yes, he was saying that he's been growing weed and making uh, joints. <laughs> making some joints, rolling some joints. And he noted that smoking it, smoking it reduced exhaustion. Oh, nuts. I can't hand carry this backpack because I can't put it on the motorbike. A long way from the traders. A long walk. That one. Maybe I'll find a car. <gasps> Parkour! Ooh, that's a long drop. far to drop. Just take it easy. You've hurt your ankle. You're stuck on a roof. With no, oh, with no way down, you idiot. What happens if I try and jump that way? Oh, wait. Just shimmy down that pole. Any roof doofers? Roofy doofs? Anything I can step onto? Well, at least there's a pharmacy there. Maybe it's easier to step off the roof onto that little plinth there. Oh dear. Nearly viscerated. Is that the right word? Lots more food in here, don't need any. Really impaled myself. Well, you see that on some of those um, videos of accidents that happen, don't you? People that fall off great heights and get impaled on fences. Oh, yeah. There they are. You just wait out here. Oh, you were easy. You were easy, girl. Oh, 
always clear a room before you start looking around, you idiot. Spore. Can't even use vitamin pills. Always eat a vitamin pill. these syringes before, run around with them and never had any cause to use them. Don't want it. Don't want it, mate. Painkillers? More vitamin pills. Little box of water. If it hurts to have a little drink of water. further. I love details like that. Look, little f moths flying around the light. Guns are setting. Bats are coming. take those batteries but they're looking decidedly flat. Well, what do we do now? I know the bikes like on the other side of town, hidden in them bushes. Home's a long way away. Road all the way over. So might as well just leave it. Let's just carry on adventuring. See if we can find something along the way. Let's head west into the sunset. Bid farewell, Tamabor City. And close this nice and calm episode out here. So I hope you enjoyed that little calm stroll around Tamabor City. Not too much action. Sometimes it's nice to have a little relaxing scum stroll. I'll see you next time when, hopefully, Marmite's got to the beach.